Hi you guys and welcome to the fourth episode of the Growth Spurt series. Today I will be talking to you guys about hypnotherapy, one of my all-time favorite healing modalities. To give you guys a little preface, hypnotherapy is not just some woo-woo thing where there's a hypnotist on stage who makes people do silly things. No, hypnotherapy is a very real healing modality. It's recognized by the Department of Labor, it's recognized by the Department of Education, and it really works. So moving forward, what is a hypnotic state? Some people aren't really sure what to expect when they go into hypnotherapy. I want you to imagine the way you feel just before you fall asleep. That is a hypnotic state. Another good example is the way you feel when you're driving home and you pull up to your house and you don't really remember how you got there, you were kind of like on this autopilot, that is also a hypnotic state. It's a very normal, natural trans state and it's very easy to just be pulled out of it, just like that. Another important thing to remember is that during hypnotherapy, nobody can make you change who you are or be a different person. They can't program things into you that you don't want to program. You do the work in hypnotherapy. You decide the things you want to release and you decide the things that you want to pull forward and work on or, or reshape inside of you. Essentially a hypnotherapist, they are just there to be like your hiking guide, your trail guide. They take you through an exercise or on a path but at the end of the day, you do all the work. So if you're not ready to release things and heal, hypnotherapy also won't work for you. But I will say it's a lot easier to tap into certain parts of our subconscious in a hypnotic state as opposed to a regular therapy state. I will give you guys an example of one type of exercise that I really enjoy. It's one of my absolute favorites. And that is going back into old memories and rewriting them as positives. So most of the things that we store or absorb as traumas or triggers in our life are things that have happened to us, memories or events, where we basically took them as negative stories and imprinted them into our subconscious. So we told ourselves that like we were weak and we're insecure or we're not good enough, whatever that is. And when you go into your hypnotic state, you go back into that memory and you find the things that you gain from it. So you might say like, well, I realized my self-worth, I'm strong. I saw how I don't wanna be treated, so now I have a better eye for like a partner, something like that. You rewrite the characteristics and the traits that you wanna see in yourself. So like, I'm strong, I'm courageous, I'm smart, whatever. And instead of having this negative imprinted view of yourself from that memory that's wronged you and made you bad or not good enough, you need to take forward with you a whole new toolbox of things about how wonderful and great you are, or strong you are, whatever it is. You basically take the negatives and you rewrite them as positives. There are so many other ways you can utilize hypnotherapy. That's just one of my favorites. I hope this has been helpful to you guys and thank you so much for listening.